Hello and welcome to one-off number two. We are actually, I actually thought about doing this as a full let's play, but this game is so, so short, I can probably get it done within, say, an hour, hour and a half, so. I'll probably just keep this as a full at one episode. So, it's a game by Sega. We are actually playing, well, it's the House the of the House Dead 3. Of the Dead. I'm sorry about the um, aspect ratio, but I think that's only for the, the title screen. We're going to be playing in free play. There's no need to calibrate a motion controller because I'm playing with my, um, my, um, PS3 controller. I've actually beaten this game already. There's a total of three. One, two, three, four, five. But well, we're going to be doing all chapters. We'll set the... Said it's a very easy, so I can, so I can beat this. With gratuitous violence and red blood. So, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. Wish I could have a second player, but I don't. Star game. I'm gonna first turn volume down. Yes, this is chapter zero, which is basically just a prologue. There's really nothing to it. And I think I'm just going to um, skip cutscenes. But this is pretty much it. Yeah, it's pretty much it. It's your it's basic rail shooter. Yep, that's really just your base, most basic rail shooter. Unless, unless you come across these zombies with throwing knives. We can't let everyone's death be in vain. Hurry! Yep, killing them, killing them, killing them. Haha, <laughs> didn't even touch me. You can't touch me now. Constant reloading. I love it. Stay out of my way. We got a little AA twelve over going on. Basically nothing to this game. It's just your most basic rail shooter. I got another one-off rail shooter planned for today, so I don't know how when these will go up though. Um, I'm gonna have to switch controllers back out to my busted one because the other rail shooter will only work with that one, which is um, Dead Space Extraction. Because <clears throat> I will never actually do a full let's play on Dead Space Extraction. It's too damn hard. The easiest mode is normal. Go through parking. I went to the I went to the entrance first time. Let's go through parking this time. Yes, yes, you die. Oh piss, fat fuckers. I wish I could I wish I could get the, all the freaking um Wish I could get the uh original House of the Dead. I would I would do a one off on them too. I know Game Grub did these things called one offs, but what the way they do it is they're pretty much completing the whole game. They're pretty much completing the whole game in um 
I'll piss these damn birds. Oh, piss. I remember these damn birds being such a pain. What? Oh, yeah, here comes the, pretty much the boss of the next three areas. A security guard? With a club with Did human skulls it? attached to it. Yes, you taste my shotgun, Biatch. Let's keep going. You shall taste my shotgun. I knocked your hat off, Mr. Security Guard. Pretty fun. Hey, we're just passing through. Yeah, nothing to it. We don't know when he'll show up again. Keep your eyes open. You'd think with the constant shotgun sounds that um they would hear, but alas, there's no other weapons in this game. The shotgun is as good as it gets. Shame I missed that damn health box right there. Gee, above you. What? Well, certainly is persistent. Ooh, that was a close one. We got a B, so it's not too bad. Unfortunately, we get no extra lives. You all right, Lisa? Yeah, just a little shaken up. Let's see. We'll go to the information systems first. That's where I went last time. It's the easiest way to go. Like I said, skipping cutscenes. It's a one-off. I'm just showing you gameplay. Look, Daniel. It's Get to give the gist of this game, a man named Curian found a cure for, well, death, pretty much. You die, give to him, they get, they get resurrected. Basically, um, it caused a, zo a zombie outbreak because, as I said, de they no longer fear death. And look who's back. And basically, they're trying to stop the zombies right now. That's pretty much the gist of the game. There's zombies and they're wanting to stop. And headshots don't even seem to kill these people. Uh, when I get a Wii, whenever I plan to decide to get a Wii U, I will, I will probably uh, do some Wii U let's plays. Oh, I hate them little fuckers. They're just damn annoying. Yeah, never heard of a zombie that looks like a scratch. How dare you touch me? Don't you touch me, you zombies. Looks like we got away. Are you sure about that?
Well, I actually managed to get all three of them before they freaking attacked me. Oh, piss. Oh, what the hell? I got him. Give me a chance to freaking break some boxes and maybe get some extra help. Hey, and wouldn't that be nice? Aw, oh, damn these zombies. Keep me from getting my bonus. On these things for now, let me get my bonus. Ooh, that was close. I'm never going back there again. That was a close one. Kiss my ass, you freaking security guard. Well, looks like he got me. Since when does a zombie have a freaking? Since when does a zombie have a uh, buzz saw? Oh my god! More freaking! Thank you. Hey, we got a bonus life. He's going all out. You think you're such hot shit. I blame the Let's Play curse on my constant failings. Haha. -ha. Let's hurry. And he's finally dead. After two levels, he's finally dead. When a lady says no, she means it. And we got a C ranking on that one. Which sucks, I mean, yeah, it sucks, but really what can you do? I was close. Really, I mean, what can you do? Let's go to the bio lab next. I'm sorry. I should have reacted. I don't care about you feeling bad, bitch. Daniel. Yes, yes, Dr. Curian, shut up. Got you before you even freaking threw anything at me. Ah, oh, yes, my worst enemy, the tentacle. Well, damn, I had him. 
jungle in here. Oh god, I'm sorry if you get it as my stomach freaking growling. I'm just a little bit hungry. I haven't eaten yet. Yes, yes, kiss my ass, zombies. Oh, yep, yeah, continue. That sucks. My ass pigs. Ah, these things are getting on my nerves. So we got a bonus added to our points. Finally, we're out. Oh, and here's the boss. Yes, yes, let me look at him again. Oh yes, some one of them hit me. What did you do about it? That was a close one. And it's dead. Nothing to it. It looks like it'll open if we shoot. That's not the actual boss of this area, so. Oh, you lucky bastard. You got a hold of me. Damn, I... I hate it when, um. Lisa, back me up. I hate it when uh, there's shit around you, like stuff that bonus points and lives and stuff you can get. But uh, when um, they're nowhere near you, like as soon as you realize they're there, there's no way to get to them because they move your reticle out faster than you can freaking move. Out in one piece. Oh yeah, there's the end of the chapter. Oh, we got an S rank. Awesome. <clears throat> Worried about rogue. Yeah, DBR Institute is all that's left. I know just what dad. I don't care what your dad would say. I'm just here to play the game. We've only been going for less than 20 I minutes, and we're it, already on like chapter three, four. There's like one chapter left. If I can beat this game in 20 minutes. That'd be awesome. But I know it's not gonna happen. Cause I suck at this area. I mean, I really do. And they, these are somewhat the reason why. The other reason is there's a dead end over here. Yep, 
at the dead end. Yeah, oh, I can go this way. Dang, you reckon they gave me enough enemies? I, mean, I love arcade style shooters, but. But, um. This is a little ridiculous. I just want to get through here. Yeah, bitch, I'm sure you do want to get through here. Lisa, back me up. Wow, the fact that I was able to save him that time is amazing. Got me. I don't know what I just got there, but oh, you bitch. Taste my shotgun shit, bitch. They re those remind me of liquors. They really do. Second place. Okay. My leg was just itching. I can't really take my focus off the game without pausing it. So. Damn, I thought I got all of y'all. Yes, yes, Bats, I see you. You're very evil. Why does every freaking horror-styled game have to have Bats? Oh, and we got this thing. This is the worst boss in the game. Next to the final boss. Purely because of how weird his um, hitbox is. You gotta, like, aim in his hands. Then his feet. I realize, before I realized you could shoot through the freaking platforms, um, yeah, I died like three different times on this guy. Yeah, he got me. ones in the middle you really gotta worry about because they're the ones that come actually come towards you. I 
I got you, bitch. Didn't get you that time. Didn't get you that time either. But you're dead, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, I know that hurt. And I know all of that hurt. Go! Oh, I'm so sorry. So maybe someone's trying to con. Chapter five: The Wheel of Fate. The final chapter, actually. We're only 25 minutes into the game. This game is surprisingly short. I'm talking surprisingly. Things look a little different here. This is the same area that we came to in the in the at the beginning. It is almost the exact same area, just with more zombies and weird-looking plant things and liquor wannabes. Wait, surely, uh, how's the day didn't come out before Resident Evil did it? I honestly don't remember. It's been so long since I played the original House of the Dead. That's why I was wanting to know if the uh, if the original House of the Dead was on the PlayStation Network. As as like the other one-off, this will go up on this will go up on both Cardem J three and Game to Death channel. The cursed wheel of fate. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, now we're actually in the actual area where um, they were in the very beginning. That's actually the guy that died last time. He's a real pain in the ass too. If you get an excellent on him, it gives you a shit ton of points. That's really all this game is good for is points. And Lord knows, since the age of the Atari, since after Atari, excuse me, points have been worthless. What is it that they're trying to protect? Yeah, you almost hit me, you bastard. Oh, this is not good going into the final boss area with one life. But I've got, also got eight. I've got more credits than I did last time I went to the final boss area. This is the final boss, Curian. I am Curian. I shall destroy everything and resurrect everything. So apparently, I, I learned about a new game system called the Tiger Gamecom from um, AVGN's new episode. And, um, yeah, the, the thing was a piece of shit, but, uh, it was, um, it had Resident Evil 2 and Duke Nukem 3D in it, but they were in black and white. The whole freaking game, the whole freaking uh, handheld console was in black and white. Oh yeah, this dude's like really, really tough. Oh, and I chose the worst one to begin with. Dang, I almost had you. See, that's what, that's what gets it so, that's what makes it so bad. The fact that, um...
Ah, oh, piss. I can't ever keep up with them. Because freaking cameras decide to stop. And he moves, just moves too damn fast, the cursor can't follow him. That's my whole issue with this one. That turns us back to normal. It is, but it's all freaking sideways. Could help me take him down faster. I'll gladly do a little bit of damage. Oh, it seems to be like if you aim for his head, some more damage is taken, which is awesome. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but... Oh, it's this bit again. He just moves too fast for his own damn good. And using a controller, I can't keep up with him. Thank you for ending this. Yeah, no, continue. I'm really glad there's no freaking ammo in this game. Yeah, apparently Mega Man 2 was also on this Gamecom thing. And they actually had Mega Man with a gun, not Buster Cannon. You heard me right, a gun. What's the deal? Am I like flying or something? Oh, thank you for turning me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yeah, this bit. This is the one I tend to lose the most lives on. There's actually a very small window to damage him in this form. Who the, who'd have thought this one-off would be actually a full Let's Play of the game? I mean, I'm sure if I include the actual cutscenes in here, I'd be go I'd be done gone an hour. His weak point is whenever he, and it is for whenever he's about to cast this, whatever the hell this is. You can take up to three damage from this one. And unfortunately, I'm going to use another continue. Yep. That's why I put so many credits on here, so I could, uh, so I could do this. And just like any good final boss, he explodes like a beast. future. We'll handle it ourselves. You've got bigger problems to worry about. You're not my father!
I'm no longer bound by the past. I begin walking toward the future. Hey, let's go! They're waiting for us! Okay, it's time to take control over again. No, I'm sorry. There is no more game. The rest of it's all cutscene based. And this, Thanks. you can't uh, care of skip. Actually, she did a good job taking care of herself. But Rogan, do you think this will change anything? It's their future. <sighs> Maybe nothing will change. Maybe everything will be different. We've done our part. The rest is up to Those them. are the quickest credits I think I've ever seen. And walk their own paths. Believe in themselves, huh? Lisa's starting to sound a lot like you. Oh, wait a minute. Is that your idea of a joke? <laughs> I guess things are already starting to change. What's wrong? Lisa, could you wait for a second? This place was my whole life. Goodbye, Father. I won't let your efforts go to waste. If humans go down the wrong path again, I'll come back to this place. Sorry. Let's go. <clears throat> yep, that's the end. And it only took me 36 minutes to beat the game. Wow. Then again, I was on very easy, so... What was my final ranking? B? What? No, not Jop. And that's basically it. Game over, man. Game over, man. Game over. But yeah, that's the end of, um... Tiss. Of, um... House of the Dead 3. I am first and second in the ranks for some reason. The house. Then again, I wasn't in a ranking mode. Three. So... Yeah, so that doesn't come back up. Let's, let's, uh, let's see. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been actually a, an actual one-off. A one-episode Let's Play where the game is completed in one episode. The rest of my one-offs are just game I, games I don't feel conf confident enough to, uh, Let's Play them. That's what this was intended as, but I was like, holy, holy crap. I could probably get this whole Let's Play in in one episode if I just skip the cutscenes. Cutscenes really don't provide any kind of story. There's really no story to House of the Dead beyond um, some guy tried to save his son and he accidentally caused the... accidentally slash intentionally caused the uh, zombie outbreak. And um, that's about the gist of the story. And we are hunting the guy, the guy who saved his son and caused this. We're hunting him down to to uh, judge, not to judge, but to uh, bring justice to him. Basically, he became a power hunt, power hungry robot look-alike, and we killed him. <coughs> His own son killed him. <coughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this game. The the um the cutscenes really just provided stupid little jokes every now and then. I actually went through and watched all the cutscenes the first time when I played this when I actually first beat this game. I actually went and watched all the cutscenes and added almost an extra 30 minutes to the game. So yeah, an hour's worth of gameplay at the most. No, half an hour worth of gameplay at the most. The rest of it was cutscene. Um, my next one off, like I said, will probably be Dead Space Extraction. I don't know if I'll do that one today or not. I gotta get some more extra recording done so I can't. I don't have to. Uh, try to record while I'm working yes I am working by the way working for Caterpillar Incorporated uh, welding uh, logging vehicle frames together making decent money my current annual salary would be about 25 grand a year and for what the way I live that's really all I need that's a heck of, that's more than I need really well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this actual one-off. <laughs>
I'm actually kind of happy that I was able to pull off this whole game in one episode. In less than an hour. So thank you for watching and have a great day.